to another vlog and happy Saturday. I did not vlog yesterday. I took the day off and I laid on my couch all day long, but it's now Saturday. It's like 11.45 at this point. I actually have to leave out in the next like 15 minutes or so because uh, the boys are getting their hair cut today and I hope you all had an amazing week. I hope you enjoyed the last vlog and I hope you had an amazing weekend because it'll be beyond the weekend when you see this. I've had a nice little slow week. Um, thank y'all for the suggestions about like the work anxiety and stress. I've definitely been implementing a lot of new things in my life this past week. I'm a huge advocate of therapy, so that's certainly been helping me. But um, yeah, I've been learning to cope a little bit more. So thank you for your kind words of encouragement and the comments overall on every video. Like I adore y'all so much. Y'all are so nice to me and so kind and so sweet. Um, but yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get the weekend vlog started. I got a few updates for y'all. I got a new favorite perfume pretty much uh i finally got my seven virtues amber vanilla mm -hmm. chef's kiss y'all it is good i've been on my fragrance kick lately for sure um i also got my rug for the living room it's here i do need to adjust it a little bit because the boys go outside right there and um i didn't want it like all the way toward the, toward the door because you know feet and paws when we come in i want to be able to wipe them off uh, so I need to adjust it when I get back because that's a little bit too much space in the grand scheme of things. But y'all, I will link this or it's already linked in my storefront. It is absolutely stunning. It sheds a little bit, but after I vacuumed it, I don't really see much going on with it. So hopefully it'll stop after uh, I give it a nice good vacuum. But you see what I mean? There's overhang on this side and not enough on this side. So I do have to lift the couch up again and drag it over. Uh, I was too lazy to fix it last night. I may have gotten a size too big because look, it even almost touches this wall because my living room is a little bit smaller this time, but I'm not mad at it. Um, This rug is absolutely stunning and I'm so glad that I waited and finally found a good one on Amazon worth the price. Like this is an eight by 10 for, I think it was 380, which I think it was so worth it because eight by 10, 380, come on now. That's like pretty average. The run in the uh, office was 350 for an eight by 10. So I'm very happy with it. Oh, this is my PR for the Amber Vanilla. I already snatched it out of here cause I'm wearing it right now. Y'all, this is such a cute PR box, first of all. But when I tell you this smells so light, airy and delicate, like second skin vanilla. Vanilla Woods is a lot more bold. I have it here. Um, but this one is a lot lighter. It reminds me of springtime. It's definitely, you get the amber in there, you get the vanilla in there. It's very delicate. That's, I don't know how to describe it. I would compare it to like a Glossier U, but they're not dupes at all. They're just very skin-like and just like elixir-like, just very soft and airy. I don't know. Definitely Vanilla Woods is little sister in my opinion. This one reminds me of spring, this one reminds me of winter, and this one reminds me of summer. But I wear them all, all year long. But I would highly, 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 highly recommend this. It's definitely in my top five now. And it ain't number five, okay? Um, but I don't really have any other updates for y'all. But a lot of people have been asking me how I did my hair. And every time I do this style, someone asks. So let me show y'all right now. Alright, so I just took my hair out of my wrap, y'all. I tried the stocking cap method um this week with my silk press not gonna lie i don't know if i've ever seen my hair this greasy before it is so flat and just grease balled up um like and it was greasy like probably like wednesday thursday i made it stretch to friday um but i no longer can wear it straight down because it's just entirely too greasy and i am going to be using a little bit of dry shampoo just for the back today but i want to show y'all how i did a style because it's like usually the first style I resort to when I um, have an old silk press. I'm kind of sort of thinking about curling my hair right now, though. Like, that's the thought that just popped in my mind. Okay, I'll just do the half up, half down to be quick with this because I do have to leave by 12 or at 12. So I'm just going to comb it all to the back and then split it from ear to ear and um, do a half up, half down. I'm going to take my glasses off for this part so I can have a nice split. Also, for whatever reason, on this side of my head, the hair is like so much thinner uh, on my right side than my left. I don't have a single clue as to why that is, but it's so much thinner over here in this general area. Um, but I'm just going to leave a little bit more hair on this left side because it's not as thick. So I'm still going to split it, but I'm just going to leave a little bit more on All right, now that I've split it how I want it, I went ahead and put the back in a ponytail to get it out the way. Now I'm just going to comb the front and backward. Um, I'm also trying to decide if I want like two little pieces to hang out in the front, like 
just two little like antennas sometimes i'll do this sometimes i won't um i'll just kind of split it like this if i don't do it today i'll probably do it tomorrow because i think i'm gonna wear this down tomorrow also um do i want two pieces out honestly not really again i need to kind of hurry up but i'm gonna scrape a little bit of my edges out um just so they don't get swooped back in there just a little bit but anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and comb this to the back my hair is coming out of this ponytail because i'm brushing it but comb this to the back and i'm gonna place the pony where i want it i don't really want it on the top of my head this time uh, i want it so like more so toward the back of my head um so you can see like the little spiky bun that I'm gonna do. So I'm just smoothing it out with my like wave brush or whatever brush you wanna call this. Um, nope, I'll put that in there. I think like right here is fine. I am gonna add a, just a hair of product, just a little bit of product. I got my gummy professional here just to get some of those flyaways down in the front around the perimeter. I'm just gonna add just a teeny tiny bit. There's barely any on my hands. Um, just to smooth it back a little bit more. All right, y'all, now I got my little ponytail in. I'm just going ahead and slicking the rest back with that tail of the rat tail comb. And now I'm just going to tie my little stocking cap around it because, um, I learned this on TikTok. It's got a little bit of humps in it and I want it flat. So I'm just going to lay my stocking cap over the top of it and tie it while I do my edges. So for this part, I am going to use my Gummy Professional. I love this stuff. Gummy Professional Styling Wax. Again, it's linked in my storefront, y'all. This is like a life-changing edge control. I'll never use another edge control. I really was using the, um, I think it was the Kiss Edge Fixer. I liked that one for a while. That was my favorite one before I discovered how good this actually is. Um, but I just lay it on there and create my swoop. Um, sometimes I put a little, like a double type of swoop, like how I just made it swoop, swoop. And that didn't make any sense, but you see what I'm talking about. Like, not one big swoop, but like a dented in swoop type of kind of swoop. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I've been liking using the comb side of this edge brush lately. Also, this edge brush is toe up from the flow up, like. It's just been used very much, but honestly, them be the best ones. Like, you gotta really get some season on your edge brush. A new one ain't gonna work the same as your old trusty dusty one. But this side, same thing. Just probably gonna put that little extra flare dip soup in it. Let's see what that looks like. Actually, I will. Okay, okay. Easy peasy, let me squeezy. And then I'm just gonna make sure everything's nice and laid down. And then I'm just gonna um, take a little bit of water. Y'all know I love doing this. Like I feel like water just creates that emulsion and makes it just like freeze into place. You can use hairspray or whatever, but I always just use a little bit of water to like solidify and mold in that um, the edge control. I know a lot of people do use hairspray or mousse. A lot of people use mousse to like make it harden. This one does a nice job staying on its own. But when I add water to it, it's just like, it's unbeatable. Like, my edges will be in place all day long. I'm just slicking the rest of that inward. And then I'll just take my rat tail and swoop it underneath the stocking. And um, that'll pretty much be it. I just like to make sure my swoop is not like boneless and that it connects to my hairline. It look a little boneless right now. So I'm just going to swoop it into my hairline so it don't look so like boneless like it's just hanging out by itself um well yeah i'm trying to think if i want to curl the back or like flip it under i think i do want to flip it under because tomorrow i might end up just like curling the back like full curls uh or like beach wave in the back at least so today i'm trying to think do i want to swoop it under or just leave it straight i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take this stocking off in like five minutes and decide what i want to do to the back but I'm gonna let this marinate and go get like a drink of water or something and then I'll be right back. All right, just kidding. While that marinates, I'm actually going to do my bun portion of this. So my hair is here in a little ponytail with a scrunchie. Just wanna make sure it's all like pulled through. 
So when I do this, there's no rhyme, rhythm, or anything. I just wrap it around and then leave the tail pieces like sticking out like up here. And then I'll kind of just like pull them back through to make sure they're like how I want them to be. So I just wrapped it around. Now I'm gonna take it and secure it with a small rubber band and see if I like it. If I don't, I'll just keep redoing it. All right, so I have another little tiny hair tie here. I'm just gonna use that and secure the bun and kind of just like pull it through and play with it until it's how I want it. To be honest, I'm fine with it like that. I usually never get it on the first try. So if I get it on the first try, I don't be wanting to mess with it. Like, so I think I'm gonna leave it like this. And if I take my stocking off and it's not how I want it, then I'll fix it up a little bit more. But I feel like I never get it right on the first try. Maybe it could have like more hair out. Let's see if I pull a little bit more through. I don't know, I feel like that's probably good for me personally. I like that look where it like, looks like it has like a tail almost um, on the bun or on the knot. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna let my stocking cap marinate a little bit. All right, stocking cap is off and I just took the little ponytail at the back. So now I'm trying to decide if I wanna wear it straight or put a little flip like in it. Um, and I have to decide right now because I, if I wear it straight, I'm going to put dry shampoo in it. And if I curl it, like I'm going to curl it. Um, I'm trying to look at it and see what I want to do. I think I want to flip it under and I think I want to change my shirt to my Aritzia. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a super tight form fitting shirt like the Skims do. Let's see if I curl it under. Let's see what it's looking like. I get nervous when I do this because sometimes... It don't be coming out right. Um, all right, let's just do it. But anyways, uh, my flat iron's already plugged up because I had the thought if I thought I wanted to do this or not. Oh yeah, I like it. Okay, let's keep going. Um, but basically I'm just taking it and doing one turn on my wrist and letting it come out of the flat iron. Honestly, I wish I had a larger barrel for this, like a curling iron. Uh, so the flip under could just be like larger because mine is like super tight because the flat iron is small. But working with what I got. It also probably won't hold. So I might have to put a little bit of hairspray on it, but I think it's really cute. Oh, now I wish I was actually going somewhere. But that's okay. They don't see me. Now let's hope I can get this side the same. And y'all can see it a little bit more on this side. So I'm just taking it, flipping it under, and pulling it through. Yeah, this side's cute. Okay, okay. All right, let me try to do the back pieces. Hopefully it's all right. I'll turn around and use my mirror. This side is looser. This side is tighter. And I don't like that. I would prefer it to be uniform. But what time is it? It's already 11.30, so I really need to be done. Um, when this cools down, I am going to brush it through one good time to make sure they're all just kind of flowing together. But this is kind of the finished result. I'm going to let that cool. I got my Kenra. Actually, this one really needs to be redone. It's, it's not even curled. Okay. I have my Kenra... 25 volume spray it's more of a holding spray i'm just spray it on there let it cool and dry a little bit and then i'm gonna take this like wig brush and kind of just like comb through all right we should be good now i like it it's very dainty and cute um <laughs> i'm just gonna comb this out a little bit and then when i'm combing i'm just making sure i'm going the same direction as the curl is going but I'll just fan that out but this is it y'all I think it's really cute and dainty I'm gonna change my shirt to get a little bit more of a form-fitting shirt but they're like super tight they should probably loosen up a little bit but again if I had me a larger barrel I feel like it would be so much cuter but whatever this is what we're working with this is the finished hair hopefully it looks good in the back if it don't that's really not my business because I'm not back there but Here's the finished look, y'all. All right, the hair is really cute and done. I decided to put that little flip in it last minute, but I got about 10 minutes until I gotta leave, so let me show y'all my outfit, and then let's get out of here. All right, it's been super sunny lately, which I'm not mad about, but you'll just have to excuse the sun infringing on our 
a clip, but shirt is Aritzia, pants are Aritzia, both linked to my LTK. I'm wearing my Sambas yet again because they are just cute and practical and I need to get some wear out of them. But y'all, I'm wearing my Marshalls bag and it goes along with my outfit so well. I think it's so freaking cute. I don't know why. It's completely empty. Nothing in here but a lip gloss and I'm throwing my wallet in and my camera will have a nice little house to stay in today um, and I shouldn't like lose my phone or anything because I have a spot for it. But it's just so freaking cute. But again, it's not like warm out by per se. So I do have my Princess Polly sweater here. So I'm gonna throw this on. It's actually super cute together. Let's see. All right, yeah, I definitely love this. It's like so cute and like cozy. Um, so this is the finished fit for today. Again, this is from Princess Polly. It's also linked in my LTK if you want it. And then I'm wearing the Cairo Nicole necklace again, Nordstrom and then Kendra Scott. TJ Maxx earrings, Warby Parker glasses because people still ask me that. I think I said everything, but let's go. All right, so we just got here and oh my gosh, I can't do this anymore. You're making too much noise and you're making too much noise. Juno's anxious and Java just sees everybody and has something to say to them. <laughs> this is like so stressful, y'all. Whatever you do, don't get two dogs. But let me take them in here. All right, the boys are now inside of their appointment. Um, I ended up having to take them in separately because Java was just being entirely too reactive for my liking. I couldn't handle the both of them at the same time, even though Juno wasn't doing nothing. Um, but anyways, first stop is Ulta today. I want to see if they have any of the Juvia's Place Duo blush because I heard those are not blush. Bronzer because I heard those were good and y'all know I want to get into bronzer now. Also, somebody recommended that I get like the same color as my forehead, which makes a lot of sense because then you could just bring it down. Um, and then maybe like a little brush to apply it. I kind of have some, but maybe like an exclusively bronzer brush. Um, but tomorrow, I think I might go to the mall and get the Fenty bronzer because someone also said that one. Uh, I'm just here to get the Juvia's because it's pretty inexpensive. And I feel like it's a nice starter. I might not get another one tomorrow because why do I need two? Uh, I haven't been to Ulta in a very long time. Like I have been uh, lately. I've been in Sephora. But after this, I'm going to go to Home Goods. I also am going to get some lunch at Kava and then Target because I want to smell the rest of those fragrances if they have them at the Target out here. And then I might go to the outlet if we still have time after that. I'm pretty sure we will have time after that. She estimated about four hours for the both of them. So we have four hours to kill. It is 1.04 right now. Um, so let's go into Ulta, see what we find. Home goods because I want another pair of sheets. Pair? Set? Of sheets? But yeah, let's get started, I guess. All right, I forgot they have bronzer, I mean Fenty in Ulta. Now, so I'm like, should I get this one or the Juvia's Place? This one is 35. I'm pretty sure the Juvia's Place is like 18. And you only get one in here. You get two in the other one in the Juvia's Place. But I haven't even been over there to see if they have it yet. So let's see. I'm going to try this one out. I also heard that this one was really good from NARS, the Laguna bronzer. Um, but I'm probably going to get the duo from Juvia's Place because this is $40. And I feel like that's kind of crazy for just one bronzer. I also heard that one was really good, that Laguna bronze and cream. But let me go over here to the other side. Oh, look, Juvia's Place has new complexion products. I heard of this. It's like the um, a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Radiance Booster. It's like the Elf Halo Glow. Um, where are the bronzers at? I see more of the blush palettes here, but I don't see. Oh, they're right here. Okay, but... I think I'm gonna get tan or dark. Medium is probably too light, but I don't know if they got a tester for tan. Let's see which one this one is. Yeah, this is tan. Um, I guess the bottom one will work for sure for tan. Top one probably not so much. I don't think. All right, lighting's not great, but I'm back in the car and somebody on live the other day asked me if I had smelled this from Ulta. I don't know if y'all seen it or not. It won't focus. Girl. Girl, it's not even on the right. This. Um, now I've never smelled it. I have seen it a million times and I've seen Alyssa Ashley with it. I just bought it. I didn't even smell it because I didn't have a sample, so I could have just opened it. Oh whoa! Oh my gosh. whoa there oh my gosh this might be better than the vanilla bean fragrance oil don't do this to me i saw a video of Alyssa ashley and she had went to ulta and bought like 50 of them and now i see why she bought 50 of them oh my goodness it's called vanilla musk nimet is by nimet i'm shooketh 
So when I saw her use it, she put it in her hands and then just like rubbed it on her clothes. And she said that she gets so many compliments. I don't know how much it was. I don't even have a receipt. But wow. Wow. That is good, y'all. It's like very vanilla-y, which I like. And it's got some musk in there, but the musk isn't overpowering. That's up there. Oh, Lord, that's up there. I would definitely recommend that. Wow, I'm shook. What took me so long to buy that? But I guess let's go to Home Goods now since we're over here. All right, wait. I'm looking at my, like, digital receipt. That fragrance oil was $20. $20.99. $20? I could swallow this thing whole. $20? I was wondering why my total was so high, but I, I thought it was a bronzer. $20? I mean, I'm using it, but $20? I could literally swallow that. That's like a, the size of a Skittle. $20 is wild. But it definitely smells good, y'all. It might be worth it. I'm going to wear it and tell y'all. I'm wondering if I should get this for the dogs, y'all. It's like really cute and it's only $40. But I'm wondering if it's a little bit too small. They can definitely fit. It's just not big. All right, I'm back here with the sheets. I normally really like their sheets because you can find some real hidden gems here. Like I be finding Ugg sheets here a lot and I'm obsessed with the Ugg ones. These modern loft ones tend to be extremely soft also. Uh, I actually think I'm going to go with this one. These are very, very, very soft. Um, I might get one more though. I had to actually toss a set. So I'm like one set down and I kind of was wanting one before I tossed it. So I might grab one more. I'm trying to see if I can find an Ugg one. Oh, uh, here's Ugg. Like, y'all. A whole Ugg sheet set? Yeah, I think so, babe. All right, so I'm definitely getting this one because this is one of my favorites. They're like super soft. And then I'm going to get this one because it's like an off-white type of color. The ugly ones that I had weren't the same ugly ones that I like currently have. They didn't feel as soft. So I'm going to go with these because they feel really soft. I'm out of home goods. I'm about to go to Kava to just sit down and eat some food. I didn't want to eat first because I know how I get. After I eat, I'll be like, dang, I'm sleepy. So I'm going to go eat now and then we're going to go to Target. And if there's any time after that, we'll go to the outlet. All right, y'all, this is my Cabo order. I always get so much stuff. I get the splendid greens, the basmati rice. I get lamb, chicken, hummus, the corn, pickled onions, avocado, broccoli, pinko de gallo mix, I think is in here. Y'all, the braised lamb is so good. And these pita chips. And then on the side, I always get my Caesar dressing and my garlic dressing. Because I like to like pour it on as I eat it. But y'all, it's so freaking good. The tahini Caesar is probably the best. But I really like the garlic, too. It reminds me of the Trader Joe's garlic spread, but it's a dressing. First bite. That's so good. All right, that was about as much as I could eat. Um, so now I'm about to reapply my lip gloss and then run to Target. I literally only finish like a fourth of that every time I come here, but I will finish it later for dinner or tomorrow for lunch maybe, because I might cook for tonight for dinner. But um, I got it all packed up in my little bag, y'all. All I smell is that fragrance oil that I put on me. I put it on me in the car before I went into Home Goods. It smells so good. So I definitely think it was worth the twenty dollars. All right, I'm back in the car now, and before I pull off, I just want to go over the new finery scents because there's more than I even knew of. I only knew of, like, I thought it was, like, four new ones. I for, Like, there's, like, seven new ones, y'all. There's one called Without a Trace, and that's supposed to be a dupe for, um, Missing Person from Floor. There's one called Mysterious Nomad. There's one called Flower Bit. I know, I think that one's old. Um... I'm like trying to see which ones are all new. Okay, yeah, there's seven of them. Um, I'm watching a video right now. There is Pistachio Please, um, The New Rouge. Sorry, it's going kind of slow. <laughs> Without a Trace. Um, just said that one. Madam. Never heard of that one. Mysterious Nomad, which is what I'm looking for today. Mystic Figures, which looks fruity. 
Born to Impress, which I heard is a dupe for like Chanel or something. I don't know, but regardless, let's go to Target. Y'all, this is another Target with Ulta and Kendra Scott behind me, and the beauty section looks impeccable. Like, oh my god. Okay, wait, they're right over there. I see one of them that I don't have. This is no, it's not. These are all the old ones. I didn't look out, y'all. They don't have none of them. This is sad. So I'm in like the little supplement section and I heard a lot of positive things about ashwagandha. So I'm gonna get this because I've been dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety and I don't wanna like deal with it in a non-natural way or treat it in a non-natural way. And this is good for a couple other things. Alright y'all, I got a few things, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to go look at the vacuum because my vacuum been acting real stupid. Like, it don't want to suck the stuff up off the floor anymore, so that probably need, means I need a new one. <sighs> Where are the vacuums? Vacuums. So we're done that way. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Um, yeah, my vacuum has been acting very outlandish, and I've only had it since I moved into my first apartment, which is like, probably two years now. Um so maybe i do need to i don't know but it's a shark and it was very expensive so i'm like it shouldn't really be given out i should probably try to figure out the issue before i buy another one but let me go look at them all right this is the vacuum i have i bought it for 200 it's on sale for 150 right now it's the shark rocket pet one i'm wondering if i should get that like tenneco one from amazon i think that people are getting it from that's where people are getting it from or if i should get a dyson because i've always <laughs> wanted one but i feel like that would be too impulsive for today um there's a couple other vacuums here but i'm trying to figure out why mine is even acting the way it's acting and i oh wait that is the um that is the Amazon one, the Tenneco one. It's right here, but it's 150. Let's see how much it is on Amazon. All right, made it back to the car. I actually just called to get an update on Judo and Java because it's 3.30, and I didn't want to run all the way to the outlet if she was going to call me like 10 minutes later and be like, hey, they ready? But she said she just finished in Java, and she still got the whole Juno to do. So, baby, is we hitting Marshalls or what? Because there's one seven minutes away. So let's hit Marshalls, and then let's go to the outlet. <laughs> All right, uh, I just got to Marshalls, but I'm almost mad because the Marshalls next to a Kohl's. And if you know, boy, let me turn down. I hate Kohl's so much, it almost just blew my Marshalls moves. Like, I don't even like to be near a Kohl's, and y'all probably, <laughs> probably think I'm playing. But I'm so, for real, I hate Kohl's so much. It really just makes my skin move. Like, oh, I hate Kohl's, but watch this Marshalls be a hit. I got, I got a good feeling in my bones that it's going to be a hit because it's next to a Kohl's. Watch this. I knew they were gonna have something, y'all. They have purple and they also have blue. I don't like the purple. I would never wear that. I don't think. I don't know if I want this color though, because it's not the color I was looking for. But it definitely is giving spring, and it will look so good with a blue jean, y'all. So I think I'm gonna have to get this one, especially if I don't find another one. This one's thirty dollars. Um, let's go find a mirror and hold it up to myself. I didn't even get deep in the bags. I just found those two right there. Um, there might be some more down in here. Let's take a look around and then hold that one up to myself in the mirror because I don't know about the color, but it's kind of cute. All right, we'll have to ignore the outfit because it don't go with it, but I think it's cute, y'all. I just wish I had like a crossbody because I'm not a handbag type of girl, but I think this is so cute for like vacation. I feel like it could be one of those bags. Like you can mix it. It could be vacation and it could be every day. Yo, I found this one for 40. This one's so cute. It's hooked up so I can't show y'all like in the mirror. I can prop my camera up real quick, but let's see what this one looks like. The wet All right, she took the brown bag up to the front because it was tethered. I guess I couldn't carry it around. But y'all, this one is more so giving me vacation bag. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I can't wear it on my shoulder. I would just have to hold it or like out to dinner bag, which is fine. And low key probably should just get both because this one's 30 and that one's 40. And $70 for two bags is a steal. But anyways, I'm over here looking at these and I feel like they're so cute. I just wouldn't know where to put them. I'm actually considering buying this, but I need to stop. But like this, I'm trying to think. Like purple and the blue kind of give me, I don't know, cheap. Like, I don't know. Like I want it red or black. I feel like those ones were like the cutest in my opinion. But this will look really good with a pair of jeans also. It's like a going outfit. This would be perfect. But that brown one is like an everyday type of vibe for sure. All right, so I was really debating over the blue one or the brown one, but I got the brown one, y'all, because it just looks more expensive to me. Like, look at the quality. 
You can't tell me she's not giving Bottega. And everybody I asked in the store said that this one just fit my silhouette better. And I agree. Like, it just fits my body better. <laughs> if that makes sense. Everybody that I asked in the store said that they like this one better. And low-key, I like this one better too because I can put it on my shoulder. But it's just so practical and cute for every day. And the other one was just like a nighttime vacation type of look. And I didn't hate it. It's just not the color I was going for. Um, but this is the color that I will go for all the time. It's like a camo tan and it's so like pillowy soft and oh like high quality but for $40 and $30 you really can't go wrong I just didn't need to impulsively buy two bags like that's just dumb but I'm gonna try to wear this one <laughs> maybe I'll wear it tomorrow uh it's just so cute I don't have anything like this I just feel like it's so grown and like it's giving mid-30s like it's just giving not that if you got one of these and you oh but like it's just giving like sophisticated i don't know i like this a lot when i seen this one i was like girl this one's nice but i'm gonna keep looking for the other little ones i want red or black though i don't want blue so yeah i got this one but we still got time so i'm like dang do i want to drive to the outlet or do i just want to park my car and sit and wait on juno to get done low-key let me think about it for a second hold on all right so i'm back in the parking lot uh waiting on judo and java she said 15 minutes so i just came back over here but i was just sitting here thinking like my next move like i want to move out of state obviously i'm not gonna stay in pennsylvania and i've been talking about heavy about moving to either um like the dmv area or dallas but like every single day i think about living in dallas like so much dallas content pops up on like all my stream all my pages and things like that like the townhomes are beautiful the apartments are gorgeous you get a bang for your buck the weather is nice like i just feel like i'd be so happy in texas like plain old dallas like fort worth area like that suburban just hub i feel like i would just be so happy because i'm such a suburban girl at heart i wouldn't do houston and austin's i don't, I don't think i'd do austin but the dmv has also been heavy on my mind too but the price of living is so much more expensive out there than it is in dallas like comparatively like girl i'd be saving so much money if i moved to texas the dogs would be happy like i would get them a little, a little yard i'll probably get another dog i don't know why i'm sitting here thinking about that but i really just want to solidify where i want to go so i am going to take another solo trip to dc because i just like doing that and it's such a vibe i might do that again for my birthday or just before my birthday because i don't know if i could wait that long but i definitely need to take a trip to dallas to see what it's like for real because i've never even been there and i'm talking about living there but i just feel like that's just so my vibe let me know what you think if you're a texas girly please leave a comment and let me know where you think i would fit at but my out of state move out of state move is next so i'm like thinking heavy about where i want to live at like in real life like pennsylvania served its purpose for its reason but like i need to like settle down in a place you know and I feel like Dallas could really just be that place. Like, it just looks so nice. Like, I feel like I would start a family there. Just just be there. Um, but Pennsylvania is not it anymore. But obviously, I've been so blessed to, like, be where I am and have what I have. It just definitely served its purpose. But I got to find somewhere to, like, to live in real life, to buy property. And I feel like Dallas would be such a vibe, you know? But the DMV area, it will probably be like somewhere in Virginia. I'm really obsessed with Alexandria. I'm really obsessed with Fairfax. I really like Rockville, Maryland a lot. So one of those probably. But let me know what you think if you live in the DMV area or if you live in the Dallas area. But I guess I'll go in and get the dogs. Or at least I'm going to pay for them first. Because when I tell you, I'm taking them from the back and just leaving. Like, we just need to leave. We don't need to linger. We don't need to wait around or anything. So let me go pay and then grab these two little boys and see what they look like. We made it back home. I just wanted to show y'all how grown man Java looks. Like, oh my goodness. I like I'm I'm just confused. Hey, no wrestling. Here. Java, let me see your face. Look up. Like what? He looks like a grown-up, like an adult dog. And then Juno looking handsome per usual. Alright, go ahead and fight. Or play. Prime time WWE right here. They love playing. But anyways, I'll let them go at it. Actually, I'm about to get them some toys out of the their little toy closet, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to show y'all what I got. And then I'm going to hop online because girl chat died. Um, I haven't been on there in a little hot minute. I made a mistake and left those sheets in the car. So 
those will have to stay because I'm not going back out there. Um, I'm about to eat some more of my kava in a second and put these in a vase. I decided to get yellow tulips this time because I never get yellow and I feel like it would just brighten the living room up so much. So I got yellow this time. Uh, I just got some essentials from Target, some more mouthwash and toothpaste. And then uh, y'all know I've been doing with, I've always had anxiety, but well, I don't even want to claim anxiety because your words have power, but I sometimes deal with it. Um, and I just try to find mechanisms and things like that to cope. But I heard that ashwagandha and magnesium are both really, sorry, the ruckus in the background. I heard that ashwagandha is really good for that. And I've been dealing with a lot of stress uh, from work. So I got some ashwagandha gummies. And then I also got some magnesium supplements. This is magnesium glycinate. I heard it's really good to also aid in sleep. I also want to make a sleepy girl cocktail that I saw Amani make, but I think you need the powder for that. I don't know. I think these are capsules. I don't know if I should crack them open and put them in the glass. I am a scientist after all, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, I have to look that up because I don't think you're supposed to be like taking them out of the capsule to do things like that. But if it's all the same, then I probably will and make that cocktail that she made. Dang, I should do it right now. But anyways, this bag, y'all, is too cute. You cannot tell me this one don't give Bottega. And I was in the car and I was thinking like, with some mom shorts, some mom jean shorts, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like these would be so cute. With like my Levi 501 shorts, this would be so cute. But y'all, it's just too cute. Like, I just feel like it's just too cute and versatile. Like, this is a cute little bag and I have nothing like this one. And I just thought it was too cute to leave in the store. Like I said, I will be on the hunt for the red one and the black one in the smaller version. But this also can give like vacation. It can give everyday mom vibe. Don't ask me why I want to be a mom so bad that I keep referring to everything is like mom, even though I'm not a mom. Um, but it just give, it's just giving me mom. Like, mom, are you coming to your conference, mom? Yes, I'll be there with my bag on. But it's just too cute. I guess that's it. Beside the home good stuff. Oh, the Ulta stuff. Where's the Ulta bag? Oh, I put it in my purse because my purse is big enough to hold everything. Um, uh -huh. I ended up getting the duo blush and tan, y'all saw. Hopefully blush, bronzer and tan. This oil, I'm not gonna lie, that's all I smell right now. Don't even smell the amber vanilla from the Seven Virtues no more, but I will be mixing the two because they, they pair together really well. Got another one of these brushes. This is the Real Techniques uh, 400. And then, I don't know if these are new or not, but this is my first time seeing these little sponges. So, I got them because I love me some Real Technique sponges. So, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, let's go live and then catch up with the girls. Hey, y'all. Good morning and happy Sunday. I have already basically reset everything in my home. I also went ahead and did all my morning routine, shower and all that good stuff. I pretty much have my fit on for the day. I didn't really want to be on camera this morning. I just wanted to be by myself, uh, so I didn't film any of it. But I am up to the step where I'm like about to do makeup, so I definitely want to turn on my vlog. Um, like I said, I pretty much have on my fit. It's between this with jeans and like this black top I have underneath with a bolero. So I'm like going back and forth. Like I've already had the bolero on, and now I have the button up on. But regardless of what I choose to wear, I'm about to do my brows off, can't like off live with y'all. And then I'm gonna go live to do the makeup and I'm gonna try to use that bronzer today and pray it work for my good. But today we're going shopping with Selena and we're also gonna get brunch before we shop. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really have like much like to buy. I just, like, I just wanna vibe. If anything, I might get the Tabby 12 from Coach <clears throat> if they have the one I want. If they don't, then I will. I want to check out Anthropology also because y'all was telling me to go in there. And it was another store. I don't know if it was free people. Couldn't have been free people. I don't like free people. It was one more of like Anthropology, like those little, I call them casserole stores, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I just want to get out the house. It's very sunny. It's a little bit warmer than yesterday, but nothing crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and do the brows and then hop on live. And now I'm like wearing the bolero and I think it's like so cute. So I guess I'll let the people on live decide because this is really cute too. Like, I don't know. And I haven't worn a fit like this one yet. I haven't even worn this at all yet. And it'll be really cute. So I don't know. I guess we'll let the live decide um, 
when I get on there. But I'll leave this one on for now because I was like, hold on, let me see what that looks like again. That's my whole problem. I'm too indecisive. But everybody always asks me what I use on my brows. The Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, y'all. This is like $8 or $6, something like that. To me, all these little brow retractable things do the same stuff. The Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Benefit, whatever, the Morphe, whatever, the whoever, they all do the same stuff. Now, some of them last longer than others, and some of them are a bit more, like, hard as far as, like, the pencil part goes. But honestly, I'm going to stick beside this one because it's very affordable, and it works just fine, in my opinion. Um, So, I'm also going to, if I do wear this, I'm also going to put a little bit of e.l.f. Halo Glow here on my chest because it just gives you a nice little glow um but i guess let's do the brows i don't know um i kind of need to tease my brows a little bit so i'm gonna do that a lot of people ask me how i maintain them also i usually just tweeze or razor them so i have my tweezer and tweezers and the bottom kind of just needs to be cleaned up so i'm gonna clean up the bottom of both brows a little bit i'm not gonna go too far into depth or detail with them they just are a little bit hairy right now a little bit overgrown so i just some days i just clean them up because when i tell y'all i do i'll do my brows once a week like full on like get all up in there and then three days later the hair is back I, like i don't want to do it all the time like fully in depth so i usually just go in in the middle of when i did it last and just clean them up a little bit especially on the bottom because all the hair will literally grow right back in like three days all right i've filmed this quite a lot but i'll do it again i don't mind um so what i'm doing is just brushing the hairs upward just to make sure <clears throat> my shape is nice sometimes i'll even trim them in the middle of the week like if some of the hairs are too long um but i kind of sort of have been brushing them down lately to style it Bro, this hair is so long. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I got these little tweezers from Revlon. Not tweezers. Scissors from Revlon. This hair is just like sticking out. I don't want to cut my eyelashes off. Hair just sticking out like an inch off my face. Ugh, I kind of want to relax my eyebrows. That sounds so dumb. Or laminate them or something. Because they don't sit down. They're curly. Like they don't sit down ever. But anyways, I kind of have been liking to like brush them downward a little bit. So I can see the top arch. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in with a super light hand and create or fill in the sparseness on the top like Just super lightly until it's how I like it. All right, once the top is done um, I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom I just already did my right one and completely forgot to press record again I'm just filling in the tail a little bit and now I'm gonna do the same thing on my left one Just go in with a super light hand on the bottom And then I'll be done. I don't like to talk and do this because I feel like I need to focus now I'm going to use my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I've mentioned in the past, this is the only brow gel that I actually like because it literally hardens the brow hairs. Like, it actually freezes them. Every other brow gel I've tried just gives this like soft waxy hold. And I don't like that. I want my brows to be frozen in place. Like, if I hit my face or put a shirt on over my head or a jacket or whatever and something rubs against my eyebrow, I don't want my eyebrow hairs going in the other direction. And this is the only one that actually holds the brow in place for me. Or at least that I've tried. But the ABH one is good too. But this one is just, it gets a little bit more hard in my opinion. And I really like the applicator on this one. Um, but this is the last step that I do for brows. And I'll be done. And then I'm going to unwrap my hair and try to fix it up. Because I don't know really what's under my scarf. I just like circle wrap the back. So we about to see. I brushed it out last night. And I circle wrapped the back. So it should... Oh, not the flip still in there. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna fix it with my flat iron most likely because I need it. I need the flip to be better, but it's still kind of in there, especially on this side. Uh, I'm gonna redo my ponytail though and put a little bit of water on the hair and re-slip that and then flip this under. Basically, the same thing as yesterday. Nothing crazy. Let me get my brush. It really does need some dry shampoo in the back. But if I touch it with my flat iron, I can't put dry shampoo in it because I don't want to, like, burn my hair off with the heat in dry shampoo because I don't think you're supposed to do that. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to touch it up. So I don't think I can put dry shampoo in it unless I put it in there and wait a while. But, again, I'm not really trying to burn my hair off. So I don't think you're supposed to do that. This side is, like, it's fine. It's just this side because I wrapped it in this direction. 
But this side honestly is cool. Like you don't really need much. But let me focus on the ponytail portion first. And then we'll get the leave out <laughs> on its way. All right, so I am about to go live. Um, but I'm gonna try to use the bronzer today and pretty much every single thing I did from last week. Um, I'm not gonna use the Sephora Best Skin ever. I wish I could take that back, but I don't know if I have the receipt. Actually, I might. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Nothing new except for the bronzer. All right, y'all, I finished my makeup. The bronzer made such a difference, a subtle difference, but such a difference. Like I barely put any but it warmed my face up so much and I feel like my forehead <laughs> my forehead is now tied into my face if that makes any sense like before I feel like my forehead <laughs> my forehead would kind of stand alone because it's a different pigment than the rest of my face but it kind of just all is like tied in together do you know what I mean like I don't know that you put the blush on top it's the combo that just eats like I see why everybody loves bronzer now I don't know what took me so long but my forehead is cohesive with my face now is what I'm trying to say but this is the makeup look I love it so much all right, I'm in my living room since I rarely ever do outfit checks in here anymore. I feel like I always used to do it in my last apartment, but uh, we got a rug now, so I can come in here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, shirt is from Zara. It's super oversized. Um, it's a button up. I once wore this as a dress, so when I say oversized, I mean oversized. Y'all remember that sweater vest look I did? That was this shirt. Pants are Princess Polly, linked in my LTK. I do have one on a Babaton um, bodysuit underneath here. Same bodysuit that I was wearing earlier, obviously. You just can't really see it. Plus, it adds another layer for the cold because... I'm not wearing a jacket. Sorry, but the car is going to have to be my jacket. And when I go to the mall, y'all, I get so hot and sweaty when I'm like walking around carrying a bunch of bags. So I don't want a jacket. Uh, excuse me, sir. So let me just move you out the way gently right there. Yep, yep, yep. And then I'm wearing my Adidas Sambas. Y'all, I don't forgot my bag. That's the most important part. I'm wearing my Sambas, but hold on. Let me go get my bag. All right, this is the outfit with the bag. I just think that this is so cute. And I was on live debating. Hi, sweet pea. I was on live debating which bag I should wear. And I was like, you know what? If I don't wear this one today, I'm probably never going to wear it. Oh my gosh, my boys are so precious. Hi. You look like a munchkin. Um, but yeah, this bag is just so cute and it fits everything. So I don't have to put my camera or my phone down today. I have a bag big enough to fit it all. But I'm so obsessed with this look. But yeah, let's go. All right, y'all. I am on my way to a brunch first. We decided to eat first instead of shop first. And I feel like this is a good idea because I'll be waiting to eat. And I think that if I'm full, I will not make an irresponsible decision in buying a bunch of stuff I don't need. You feel me? You you feel me. I know you feel me. Like, if I'm full, I'm not dumb. <laughs> if I'm full, I can think properly, if that makes sense. So, uh, I'm all for eating first, plus I'm pretty hungry. And we're going to go to Kuma. I haven't had Kuma in a little minute. Actually, yeah, a little minute. I really want some uh, sweet potato rolls and maybe some yaki udon. That might be a little too heavy for right now because it's only 1.30 in the afternoon. And then we're going to go to the mall. I really have been thinking about the... Um, sorry if it's loud. I'm on the freeway. I've really been thinking about the Coach Tabby 12. But I really, I just I just bought two bags. Like, we don't need another bag. Duh, we don't need it. But do we want it? Yes, we want it. And it's only one ninety five, so it's like okay we can we can we can do that um but i need to see it in person honestly i'm about that i'm always an in-person type of girl we were talking about this on the live last night like i love shopping in person it really is a hobby of mine like I, as much as online shopping is cool which is really not to me especially for clothes like shoes okay cool or if i know i can fit something then okay cool but i love the experience of going in store touching and feeling my clothes trying them on and just shopping like i like shopping that it literally is a hobby of mine like when people ask me what i like to do i don't want to sound dumb and say i like to shop but it, that really is the real answer like how do you tell somebody that that's a real hobby of mine like i'm so for real i love to shop but uh yeah i also have been seeing some pieces from unique low surface like on tiktok and stuff face over matter if you know her i love her so much but she uh has been wearing a lot of unique low pieces lately i'm like girl those look good like she tried on some unique low jeans they were the truth or at least on her they were um so i'm stopping there those are my only two like main priorities i don't need to go to ritzia i'm gonna see if selena wants to go i mean i want to go I don't need to go because I feel like if I go in there, that's an automatic 200 when I could have bought the bag for the 200. You know what I'm saying? It's girl math. We need to girl math. But yeah, we'll see what we end up getting. But I'm so hungry, so let's hit up. Come on. All right, I just got here. I'm actually in my old hood, so 
sometimes I get anxious when I come over here given what happened to me during the summer when I used to live over here um but it's also like super nice and I love it over here so I try to like just like remain calm just because I like kind of associate trauma with this area now uh, I'm just waiting on a car to go past but Selena's here so I'm about to go meet her I just got to the mall um lunch was really good i guess you would call it brunch or lunch but it was really good i'm pretty full so i feel like i can make sound decisions but let's go into nordstrom yo i'm about to go to zara to see if they have that bubblegum pink um sweatsuit set in here oh wait do i see it no that's not it hopefully they have it if they don't i'm gonna be a little salty because i've been seeing it on tiktok for like three weeks now Y'all, they only have the pants. I did find the small, so I'm still gonna get the pants, but I feel like the top would have ate so bad. I think I'm gonna just order the top though, but the pants are so cute. It would have been too cute. All right, I found this button up, but it doesn't, it doesn't really fit like my other ones. Plus, it's just like weird <laughs> slit in the sleeve. So I think I'm gonna leave this one in the store. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to buy it and wear it as like a dress, maybe. I don't know if I like the way that this one, I feel like as a dress would be okay, but like this part is just, yeah, no, we're gonna leave this. So I found these linen pants, which I think are very cute, um, but they're very much see-through also. And they would definitely have to be tailored because I can't wear them like this because I want the band to show. I've been looking for some linen pants like last year. I might just continue my search. I don't think that these ones are gonna be it, to be honest with you. Um, because I would definitely have to take them to get tailored and they are very see-through but I don't know I feel like all linen pants are see-through and if I buy any they're gonna have to be tailored so I'll think about it all right this is what the sweats look like I like them there's just a lot of static electricity in them so they're sticking to my legs so I might have to put them in the dryer to get rid of that but they're a little long so I would have to cuff it and I think I'm just order the jacket since I can't find it but I did find this really cute tank top to go with this so I'm gonna get this y'all I just left the Ritz here and I didn't get anything I saw a little sweatsuit that I kind of wanted and I might go back for it but my problem with that is it's a really light color that I like I have a variation of the color um it's not an exact match but I feel like if I get that I'm I'm, I'm being a little wasteful um, cause sometimes I just go in there and I see something and I'd be like, oh, I want it, but I don't need it, like, at all. Like, I feel, like, if it was a different nice little color, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I need that. But it was just, like, a little nude shade. Um, but I'll think about it. We're in, um, Uniqlo now. I was looking at these sweatpants because I think I saw Face Over Matter with these on, but I don't know. It's, it's, I never take the time to actually look around in this store, and if I take my time, I feel like I can find some good things. Like I come here for one thing when I see it online and then I find it and I'll leave. Like I don't be looking around this store ever. But I'll take my time and look a little bit. Yo, I found the jeans that I face so oh and oh <laughs> I found the jeans that face over matter at the door won't lock, y'all. <laughs> I don't know how to like it, but I found the jeans that she had on, but they just I don't I don't know if I like them. Like they just feel so like so much room in them. <sighs> I don't, I can't tell if I like them. Also, they're a little on the thinner side, which I don't typically like in a jean. They're perfectly high-waisted, which I love, but they don't have any size lower than this. This is the smallest one they have, and I would love a size down, to be honest, because they're kind of baggy. I don't know. I'll think about it. I don't think I want these, though. I'm not going to get the pants because they don't have a size smaller than that, and those are a little baggy for me. Um, but Selena's getting a moon bag right now, and I think we're going to go over to Coach still thinking if I want that Aritzia set. Crazy that I'm even thinking about it, but I told y'all, when I got food in my system, I got a little bit more sense. Look how cute they have the little Coach Topia thing set up in here. Those little bags are cute. Oh, those wristlets are beautiful. Oh my gosh, I kind of want one of these. 
Do I need it? No, but do I want it? Yes, this is cute. These are so cute, y'all. Y'all, this is the um, Tabby 12 right here. This is so cute and mini. It's so little and cute. Oh my gosh. This because I need her to smell this um, amber vanilla perfume. And then, I was talking about Tory Burch, but I don't think I want to go to Tory Burch. We're gonna go to Anthropology because people have been telling me to, oh, is that us? People have been telling me to go to Anthro. But I need her to smell this perfume, so we're in um, Sephora, excuse me. Thank you. There's some floor down here. I'm gonna smell these because I haven't smelled a couple of them. Lost Cause, I definitely want to smell. drug is all the way down here thinking that this was anthropology in my head but it's called altered state so now I got the map up and child not us in the whole oh we're going toward it though so I guess we could <laughs> y'all we finally made it to the other hemisphere of the mall um this store is huge but like I said it just looks like a lot of casserole type of vibes in my <laughs> Like, what is this? I don't know, maybe if you dig, you can find some cute stuff. Let's see. This store has so much surface area. Ooh, home stuff. This is kind of cute. Y'all, here go the um the bag dupes over here. Oh, look, that was 108. TJ Maxx, where you at, babe? They done lost their monkey minds. This one's cute, let's see. This one is 128. It's definitely cute. Oh, they have like a whole home section. I will say this store is very, very, very cute, but I'm not finding anything. It's just a bunch of stuff laid out in my opinion. Um, there's nothing with real substance, but I mean, I don't know. It's given like, it's given something for sure. All right, we're done in um, anthropology. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't give anything for me. Like, it didn't give. We were gonna go to Free People, but Free People is the exact same store, so it's not giving. I don't know where we're going now, but not giving zero out of ten wouldn't recommend y'all i just had the thought because selena has her cdg converse on and i was like oh my gosh i want some low top ones i do have these gray ones and i definitely wore them to the ground but i'm gonna get these because they are just so cute yo these are so cute definitely love them i'm gonna get these low top ones i do also really love the high top ones but i've been itching for another pair of low top converse for a little minute so i'm gonna grab these all right, we finished up in the mall, y'all. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> um, I was thinking I was gonna go to Trader Joe's, but now I'm like, who today drained me and I wanna go home? So, I do have food to cook, but I also have food to eat right here. So I'm like, do I really wanna go to Trader Joe's or do I wanna save that? I will save it, I'm going home. Didn't have to think too hard. Uh, I'll see y'all at home. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm back home now. Uh, also changed, but I didn't really get much. Y'all pretty much saw what I got. I got my leftovers here. Um, I'm gonna put these sneakers on my sneaker closet slash wall, and I'll show y'all that because I have gotten some comments from people like, can you do like a sneaker collective haul or something like that? I'm not gonna go in detail, but I can go over it a little bit. Um, so I did get these CDG Converse because, I don't know, I saw Selena with hers on and I was like, you know what? A low top pair for the spring will be so perfect. So I made sure to get a pair because these are very like interesting as far as like when they're in store. Like I don't know how to map it out, but for a long time I couldn't catch them in stores. Well, 
for pretty much forever, I never caught them in stores unless it was like um, Bloomingdale's or something like that. The gray one, I ended up ordering online to pick up in Bloomingdale's. So I don't know. When I saw that Nordstrom had like a whole stack of them, I was like, I'm going to get some more. So yeah, these are really cute. I like the little hearts on them too. I'll definitely be putting these in the rotation heavily as spring rolls around, spring, summer. Spring, summer. She bought you right. Um, and then I just ended up with the pink set from Zara. I need to actually go online right now and get the top. I just got a tank top and some sweatpants. I need to go online and get the like zip up portion of it while I'm sitting here. So I'm online on Zara and it says coming soon. So I don't even think you can get them online, but this is what the top looks like for the pants. And I think it's going to be real cute because they like, it's like a little bit cropped. But whatever, I guess I can't get it right now. I'm going to keep the pants though because they're, they're really cute. And I can wear them for sure. Um, but yeah, that's it. I exercised. I mean, you know, sometimes when you go to the mall, it don't be stuff. Sometimes you go and you find everything. I feel like it was just one of those days where there was not a lot that I just found or wanted. But I'm fine with what I got. So let me put these shoes away and show you all the sneakers. All right, so I'm in my spare closet. I actually don't have a space for these unless I kind of just like stuff them over there because uh, I keep my like Converse right here. Um, I don't, somebody said do a sneaker haul. I'm, I don't think I'm going to go over them in depth, but like down there I have some Air Maxes. I used to work at Champs in undergrad. So that's when I got the bulk load of my sneakers because we used to get 30% off and we used to get 50% off some weekends. So girl, I was stacking up. But anyways, not Air Maxes, Vapor Maxes um, down there. And then those are Nike Reacts. Those are um, actually, I don't know what those are called. Space Hippies. Um, some Dunks, some Asics, New Balance, some Jordans that I never wear, Converse, some Vomeros, some Air Max 98s, some, what are those called? Um, shoot, drawing a blank, draw, Nike Sakai, some Yeezys, some Air Maxes, a bunch of Adidas NMDs, some Air Forces, some other Air Maxes, I think. Um, some Doc Martens, which by the way, take years to break in. I've had those Doc Martens since I, what's going on? What are you, what's going on? And Juno like, you probably should get out, you probably should get out. How do you even get up there? Anyways. Doc Martens take years to break in. I had those since 10th grade and they still hurt the back of my ankles. Some Sam Idleman's. I said I wasn't going over everything. And then I got some boots at the top. And it's a pair of boots in my trunk that I need to put in that gap. Those are the boots that I actually forgot when I was going to Disney. But yeah, I don't have any more space on this wall. So I got some snow boots at the bottom and my Sambas kind of sit at the bottom. But that's pretty much everything. Every sneaker. Um, the other shoes are in my other closet. All right, y'all, that brings me to the end of the night. I hope you all enjoyed the vlog so much. I hope you all had an amazing weekend. Uh, I am just about to lay on my couch, to be honest with you. It's 7.07 .07 right now. I'm not even gonna cook anything. I'm just gonna eat these leftovers because I just, I'm not feeling it in my bones. So, I... Juno's egging Java on to play, but I think I'm gonna cook tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog and thank you for all the continued support. And until next time, I'll see y'all, bye.